Hey there, congratulations. You're the owner of a successful cleaning business. You've got leads, sales, and clients you're delivering a quality service for. That is amazing, except for the fact that now you're working around the clock. Sound about right? It was great at the start, but now your to-do list is super long. You're constantly glued to your phone and your laptop. You wake up and instantly check emails, messages, and every other platform you can think of. Even if you tried to take a vacation, you'd probably have to be plugged in because you can't get away from the business. Things are starting to slip through the cracks. Calls might be being missed. Maybe you're making mistakes. And you're probably feeling pretty stressed. You want to market your business. You want to grow your revenue, but you also want to serve the clients that you currently have and you don't want to let them down. You don't want to miss any services, sacrifice the detail, or not deliver a perfect service, right? How do you make sure nothing slips through the cracks? How do you hire staff and know they will do things the way you like things done? How do you grow your business while still delivering a high quality and reliable service without micromanaging? My name is Amy Karras. I'm the founder of Clean Ideas HQ. You can see my website here on the screen and I help cleaning business owners just like you set up their cleaning business so that things run smoothly without day-to-day -day involvement from them. Now, as promised, there is a specific blueprint that I use to help my clients go from I'm drowning and burned out to I've got this, I'm in control, I'm thriving. Now, I don't have any fancy slides for you today. I have this one page drawing, one page Google drawing, okay? And this is my secret one page CCJ blueprint, which will help you free yourself from your cleaning business in the next 30 days. Because here's the thing I found. Everybody talks about marketing, leads, sales, and so on, but nobody seems to wanna to talk about what to do once you've maxed out your business. And guess what? Unfortunately, no amount of marketing and sales, as important as it is, can help you grow if you are maxed out. So that's what we're here to tackle today. Like I said, it starts right here with your client journey. Now, this is step two of the systems project, my eight step signature program. So of course, in 20 minutes, I can't go through all eight steps, but just so you know where that fits in, it fits in over here. Um, and I didn't want to sort of just give you one step that you can't use or won't be useful to you. I wanted to focus on something super actionable, something you actually can take away today after 20 minutes and use to help you feel some pressure start to lift immediately. So step two in the systems project, that's this blueprint. And this is the best way for me to help you, yes, in 20 minutes, reveal the systems that you must focus on first to give you the quickest return in your cleaning business so that you can start to feel some pressure lift in a matter of days or weeks, not months or years. Now, I wanna start by saying there is a common misconception about creating space and freedom in a business and in particular in a cleaning business. People often think you will need to document everything, hundreds of systems before you see results. So they put it off, put it off, put it off. They never start, but it's not true. The truth is simply identifying, capturing and organizing key systems along your client journey usually somewhere between 10 to 15 systems. Systems that, by the way, probably already exist, will have a huge impact on your business and your life. It is that simple. And at the end of this 20 minutes, you will understand why systems are fun. Yep, I said that. They are not boring. They are not some boring thing you write out once and put in a drawer. They can actually change your life. They can give you back time for the things you love and they can make you enjoy your business. Enjoy being the owner, the CEO of your business. How can that not be fun? And do you know what's really cool? You already have systems in your cleaning business. I hear it every single day. Clients come to me and say, Amy, I don't have any systems. I don't know where to start. Me, are you delivering a quality service to paying clients? Cleaning business owner, yeah. Me, you have systems. You're just not aware of them. 
You see, people like to overcomplicate things. They think that fancy tech tools are the thing that will give them freedom or hiring a new team member or writing out thousands of pages of standard operating procedures or SOPs as you'll hear them referred to. But it usually doesn't work. Why? Well, it's not because there's anything wrong with project management tools. In fact, you must, must, must have a project management tool and I could talk about ClickUp, my favorite, all day. It's not because you shouldn't hire a team. I 100% am on board with delegating as much as possible. And it's certainly not because you don't need SOPs. It's because they focus on the wrong things to start with. So they don't gain any traction. They make it overwhelming and they don't know where to start. Now, just naturally, I'm someone who looks at something and goes, yuck, we cannot be doing it that way. That is really manual. So it is in my nature in business and life to think of ways to make things as hands off as possible. And I noticed that each time I sat down to help someone with this, to do the same thing in their own business, I was drawing out the same picture over and over and over again. That picture is this blueprint here on the screen today the CCJ blueprint that I'm showing you right now. This one page document has the capacity to completely transform the way you run your cleaning business and to create a massive amount of freedom for yourself. Do not underestimate the power of this simple, simple document. It will show you how to brain dump the systems that already exist in your business and then structure it in a way that someone else can follow. And I am not talking about lengthy SOPs. Brain dumping and structuring all of the stuff in your head that keeps you up at night and makes you stressed is what's most important. It's more important than developing more systems, optimizing systems and implementing every fancy tech tool under the sun. I need you to remember that as we go through this. I need you to keep in mind, I need you to keep that in mind because right now, you and I are going to work through the picture I'm talking about that I was drawing over and over and over again. And if you follow the steps, you will look back on this picture and remember it as the picture that let you step out of your cleaning business. The main purpose of this blueprint is to make sure you focus on 20% of the systems and processes that are going to give you 80% of the results. It's my job to make sure you get some wins and improvements on the board as quickly as possible. Why is that important? Because I can talk all day about how critical systems are in a business, but it's not until you start to feel this work, you start to feel the pressure start to lift, that's when the motivation and the love of systems will kick in for you. That's when you'll really get it. It's kind of like going to the gym, right? You don't want to go at first, but once it starts to feel good, you want to go again and you want to do more. Plus, if you can get some quick wins, you're going to create more free time to allocate to the next steps and so on. So it gets easier from there once you've made a start. Now, when it comes to life and our day-to-day -day existence, pretty much everything around us is a system, right? Whether we're aware of them or not, systems are everywhere. And just because you're not aware of a system, it unfortunately doesn't mean it will be operating efficiently. That's not how it works. Ignorance is not bliss in this scenario. Your cleaning business is no different. It is also simply a collection of systems. And the most critical skill to learn, therefore, is to actually identify the systems that exist in your business. If you can't identify them, you can't improve them. If you can identify them, you are in a wonderful position where you can tweak them, mold them and give yourself the exact results you're after. And that's our goal here. Once you're aware of this and you adopt this way of thinking, you have full control of your business. And that's the first step. The next step is knowing where to start. Now, whenever I work with a client, the first thing we're mapping out is the client journey. And I'll let you in on a little secret. If you can identify each system in that journey, in your client journey, which we're going to go through that in a moment, if you can identify them, capture them, organize them, you will be able to step away from your business. You will be well and truly on your way. 
This template is going to help you get started. So as we start this, you need to be thinking of your client journey right through from the moment you initially capture your client's attention, okay, with your lead generation strategies, right through to when you upsell them. If we go down to the bottom box, right through to when you upsell them or bring them back for repeat cleaning. Don't overthink this. You are just thinking of every single step and interaction that needs to occur for your customers to move from the start of your client journey all the way through to the end. I'm not just talking about marketing, I'm talking about the entire journey. And if you think about it, this is the only way for your business to run without you. It's so simple, but it's true. If you can't get your client along this journey from lead generation all the way through here to becoming a recurring client, referring you another client, you will have to step in and work. Makes sense, right? So if you look at the template here, you'll probably grab their attention with your lead generation strategies. And I'm not talking about lead generation strategies today, but just note down there the strategies you're currently using. Don't worry, you know, if you want to be doing Facebook ads or you want to be doing SEO and you're not doing them, don't put them here. Just put what you're currently doing. Obviously, you need to have at least one, um, but just put what you're currently doing. Um, and, and just don't overthink it. Then they need to engage. They need to engage with your business. So right here, how do they engage with you? You've grabbed their attention with lead generation strategies. Then how do you get them to engage? Do you offer a free quote, a downloadable, a quiz? It could be, it could be anything, maybe it's nothing. If it's nothing, leave it blank, okay? Then they're going to make an inquiry. Then they're going to enter your sales process, make a booking, provide a method for payment and receive their cleaning service and hopefully return again for more cleans as a recurring client or refer their friends, right? So firstly, as you're filling this out, you want to pick a single service that you currently offer and write it on the page. I know you might offer a few different types of cleaning services, but I want you to just pick one for now, the most basic version of your service. Many of the processes you identify will actually cross over to other service offerings. So the next service you do for this will be even easier. Now, like I said, at the top, we start to think about how you get your client size on your business currently. And currently is the key. We wanna start this process with what you're doing now and not your ideal scenario. Part of this process is to identify the missing pieces of this puzzle, but only include what's actually happening at the moment. I am completely expecting that as we go through this, you will be saying, hang on, Amy, I don't have anything at that step. And that's the idea. We want to identify the gaps. So back to the template. First, you want to think about how you get your leads. Only list what you're doing right now. Then, like I said, how do you get your leads to engage? Maybe you offer a free instant quote. This could be anything. If it's nothing, again, don't overthink it. Can these steps happen without you? This is important. The whole way through this, you need to be thinking, can that happen without me? If this can't happen without you, this basic client journey, you'll have to step in and work, okay? That's, that's our mindset here. Once they've engaged with you, how do they inquire? Do you get inquiries by the phone, email, online contact forms, texts, Facebook chat, oh my gosh. There's so many different ways we're being communicated with. How do they come in? Is it only you that knows how to respond? Or can they get a response? Can those channels be managed without you? That's what you're asking yourself. Sales, what's your sales process? Do you talk to clients on the phone? Do you send follow-up emails? Do you email out quotes? Do you have a sales funnel? Can you convert engaged leads who make an inquiry? Can you convert them into bookings without you the way you want it done? If not, you won't be stepping away from your business. Okay, so there's your sales process. Then we get down to money. When do you invoice your clients? Do, you, do they pay you now or after the service? Do you collect a deposit? Do you store a credit card? How do they pay you? What are your payment terms? How are you following up? Can that happen without you? 
Can clients pay you without your involvement? Okay, so we get through that and then we deliver the service. I like to split, you'll see two boxes here because I like to split service into delivery and also onboarding. Onboarding really needs to be its own step because it's critical this process is spot on. How do you bring a client into your cleaning business? When you onboard a client, who contacts them? How often are they contacted? How do you set their expectations? Client onboarding is all about setting expectations early to avoid problems later. And while I think of it, client offboarding is probably just as important. Okay, and then you deliver your actual service. So that's actually doing the work. And this is probably one of the biggest sections where you will identify existing systems and usually the biggest part of systemizing your client journey for a cleaning business. It's important because if you can't systematically deliver your service, you can never let your business run without you. And most people completely miss this basic, basic part. They are off buying fancy tech tools, plug and play system. It's the classic shiny object syndrome, right? But their client journey, what I'm showing you right here, it can't run without them and they wonder why they're so stressed. So you've made it to the end. You can generate leads, engage clients. They can inquire and get responses. You can make sales. They can pay you. You can onboard them and you can deliver your service. All hands off from you, then what's next? You need them to repeat. So what happens next? How do you get them back? How do you upsell? Do you offer recurring discounts? Do you encourage reviews? Do you have a referral program? What happens there? I will say it until I am blue in the face. Can all of this, this simple client journey, can it happen without you? All businesses are different, sure, but they all have a client journey. And if there is no client journey, there is no business. So don't make the mistake of saying your business is different and trying to be too complex. If you can deliver this without involvement from you, you are well on your way to stepping out of your cleaning business or being able to work on your own terms. And that's what this is all about. There's no need to make it more complicated than that. Now, of course, there are other systems that are not part of the client journey, but they should not be your focus to begin with. They, the point of this exercise is not to identify every single system that exists in your business. The point is to give you a solid starting point. So you start with the systems that will actually impact your lifestyle and free you up to work on the more meaningful things. Because if this can happen without you, your business is essentially running without you. There's other bits and pieces that need to happen, but this is a huge, huge chunk of it. And if you think about it in business and life, the more different things you work on at once, the more you defer the benefit, all right? Think of it, if you're doing 10 different things at once, it's going to take you longer to get any one of those done than if you were just focusing on one. So you wanna pick the most critical, take them through to completion, see the result, feel the benefit, and then that will build on top of each other. Now, we have covered a lot today in 20 minutes, but it was worth it. You are now armed with exactly what it takes to start identifying the critical systems in your cleaning business. Now, before I wrap up, because everyone wants to see the tech, the shiny stuff, I do want to just talk to you about ClickUp, okay? And if you know me, you know I'm ClickUp crazy. People often reach out to me and ask, Amy, what tool do you use to systemize your businesses? Me? Sorry for the bad news, but there is not a single tech tool that will run your business for you. So let's rephrase the question. Amy, what's one tech tool you must, must have when it comes to stepping out of your business? Well, assuming you already have an awesome scheduling software like Zenmate, me, you will need a project management tool. It's a non-negotiable. Think Asana, ClickUp, etc. Pick whichever one you like, trial them, see what works for you. ClickUp is my favorite. Um, your project management tool will quickly and should quickly become the heart of all your systems. But please remember this. Tech is not the thing that lets you step out of a cleaning business. It will not work if it's not built out and set up the right way. You cannot just plug and play a piece of tech into your business and walk away. Sorry, I know it sucks, but it's the truth. It does not work like that. Now, I don't have time to dive into ClickUp today, 
but your project management tool can and should be set up as the center of your business. Everything should be in one place and in a format people can actually follow. Tasks should be assigned inside a project management tool, not over the phone, text, email, 50 different modes of communication. Recurring tasks, set them to repeat. Inside the tasks, you should see the exact steps, the system you want people to follow. Yes, real time. They should be able to click on a task in your project management tool, see the exact steps linking away to any other resources they need. It needs to be real time, not in some stuffy old paper binder that nobody knows what to do with. Want to onboard a new team member? That process should be live right there inside your project management tool so you can do it again and again and again. Want to track leads? Track it there. Once you identify your systems, you need to capture them and present them in a clear and concise manner that is user friendly. It's not rocket science, but it works. So with all the knowledge and now knowing how simple it really is, why do you think most people never successfully systemize their cleaning business? It's because people naturally prefer to make things complicated. They shouldn't. There's two strategies. Make things so simple they that the gaps are obvious, like we have today, or make things so complex that they're not visible at all. And most business owners, they enjoy the hustle, so they take option two. Seriously, that's what happens. I present a system right here that proves this is super, super simple. This blueprint makes the critical systems needed in any business immediately obvious. But what do people do instead? They make things so complicated that they can't actually identify the systems and assume everything is working just fine. Yep, the systems disappear and the business owner thinks, yeah, I fixed it, but they didn't. The problems are still there, maybe worse than before. But because everything is so complex, there's so many different subscriptions, so many different things going on, so many lines of communication, the business owner has no idea. So the lesson here today is to keep things simple. So tell me, are you interested in keeping things simple? Would you like to know the easiest way to capture your critical systems? How to organize them in a project management tool to make them simple and easy to follow? How to get your team understanding that this is the way we do things? How to put your leads on autopilot? how to put your lead management, your hiring, your onboarding, the whole lot on autopilot, how to manage a virtual assistant without the communication chaos and always know what they are doing and how they're doing it, how to identify more systems for scale. Would you like to know how you can monitor your systems, your entire business from a one page dashboard that you can access when you want? and how you can make sure things are working without staying at the task level and micromanaging. If that sounds like something you want and you want a process to follow to get you there, then I want to personally invite you to get a sneak peek behind the curtain so that you can see exactly how you can run a business on autopilot. Because having great systems is one thing, but capturing them and organizing them in a way they actually get used is another. So I want to invite you to a free seven day trial of the systems project. This is not a course. This is not an overnight. I'm going to slap my system into your cleaning business, whether or not it's going to work for you and then buy. This is not what this is. And I'm tired of seeing that. I've created this because my mission is to completely eradicate burnout for cleaning business owners. And so I've built this as a group program because I want to make sure that the service I'm providing is customized enough but still simple enough to get you crazy, crazy results. This is not an overnight fix. This is a community where you come in and join others who are trying to reach the same goals as you, the same lifestyle goals, but also build some real substance in your business, actually tapping into what you really want to create in your life and making sure we build the business around your lifestyle and not the other way around, making sure we take you out of the day to day making sure you're not overworking yourself and struggling and sacrificing to grow a business that supports you. Now, I know you might be sitting there thinking, all right, that all sounds good, but maybe I can just figure it out. I can do it later. I don't really have time for this right now and it's already pretty much working. I want to challenge you on that. 
I want you to take out a piece of paper and write down how many hours you work per month at the moment. Okay, now write down how much you make right now on a monthly basis. What is your hourly rate? Are you happy with that? What if you could add 10, 20, 30, 40 recurring clients? If you were able to add recurring clients with no extra day-to-day work from you, how much more could you be making? If better systems helped you retain more clients, convert more leads, receive more referrals, what would that be worth to you? And how long are you going to wait to enjoy your most precious resource, your time? And by saying, I could do it later or I'll figure it out or I don't have time, you're essentially telling yourself you don't have time to structure your business in a way that you don't have to show up and work 24-7, okay? You can actually have some time off. You can get away from your phone and your email and not wake up thinking about that first thing in the morning because your cleaning business is going to be running and service is going to be delivered to your happy clients whether you show up or not. So what I'm challenging you to do here is to make a different choice today. You've done the hard work. You have built a successful cleaning business that makes your clients happy. You just need to identify, capture, organize and optimize exactly what you do and I'm here to help you with that. So if you're ready to do that for your cleaning business and you're ready to let go of overworking, never closing your laptop and answering to client and staff demands, if you're ready to have more free time, then I really want to see you over in a free trial of the systems project. Also, before I forget, make sure you jump on over and join the Clean Ideas free Facebook community. It's a community full of other cleaning business owners just like you who are working towards setting up their cleaning business so that things can run smoothly without the day-to-day involvement from them. I really hope to see you inside the group. Thanks, everyone.